This video will show you how to post an announcement or news articles to your class page in Sycamore. First thing you want to do is log into whatever class you want to post something for. When you're in the class home page, you're going to see that the default tabs up here are news, calendar, documents, and photos. Now once you post some news or announcements, you're going to see that it'll actually show up right when students or yourself log in. It's going to be the last 10 news articles and it'll be right up here. We don't have any news yet, so there's nothing listed. So the way that you get something put up there and that you can post an announcement or news article or whatever you, you want really, you need to go to the left hand side and click where it says class. It'll bring down a drop down menu. From there, click on news. It's the first one right underneath class. Click on that and a new page appears. This is the news page. But in order for you to get started by making your first article, you want to go to this right hand side on the current page and click new article. It's this blue rectangular tab. Click on that and it'll open up a new tab here in which you'll see a release date. If you want it released immediately, then just keep it whatever it says right now. For me, it's August 6th, 4.38 p.m. That means as soon as I'm done, it's going to be posted. But if I wanted to post it in the future, I could click in the calendar release date option and pick any other date, and I could also choose the time. The headline's gonna be where you're gonna put the title, so these are some titles that I've tested out in the last couple days. That's why they're saved here. But you could write anything you want. You could just write a hello, whatever. And then down here in this big Microsoft Word, Google Docs type of uh, format here, this is where you're going to actually write your article. Now, in order for it to post, you just go down to the bottom here and click Save. It's going to say it saved successfully. You click OK and now you see that this article is right here for you to be able to view and if you go back to your class home page it's going to be right up here in the class home page now another feature of posting news that i want to tell you about is if you go back in the left hand side underneath class you click on news and go back to our news page here if you want something to be a top story and to stay at the top of that news page what you need to do is click on this little pencil here all the way to the right of whatever news article is going to be here. You click that pencil, that allows you to edit your news. And when you go there to the top right corner, you'll see status. Now, when you click on that, a drop down menu appears top story or archive. And in this case, we want to hit top story. We'll go down and hit update. We'll close out of this. We'll go back to our class homepage. And now you see that this article is actually listed as a top story over here, which is pretty cool. It doesn't matter when you only have one article right now, but I'll show you what happens when you have a second article. So this is what it looks like when you have multiple stories. It'll just keep going down the list for a handful of news articles. Now, these are both top stories. If I wanted to edit one and show you what it looks like, I could go in, I could click the little pencil to edit one of these, and not have it as a top story anymore. I could just have it as a current story, hit update, go back to check it out, and now you'll see that the top stories are demarcated from the other ones. There's a separation of them, but the students can still see this. Now one of the troubleshooting things that you need to keep in mind is if for some reason you don't see these announcements and you don't see the news posted right at the front of your class homepage, check a couple things number one check and make sure that you're actually on the news tab because you can see that there's three other tabs here photos documents and calendar make sure that you click on news if for some reason you do not have a news tab bar what I want you to do is go to the left hand side go down to administration click on that and then from there go to configuration that'll bring you to a page where you could actually configure your home tabs like if I just want the news posted I'll click on that, click on the arrows, and now it's selected. I'll hit update, and now I'll go back to the class home, and you'll see that the news is the only tab there. So once again, go down to administration, configuration, and from there, you can click on any tab that you actually want. But let's say you wanted the news tab, and the calendar tab, and the documents tab, but you didn't want photos or whiteboard. You would click those, hit the arrows, and now you're, you'll, you're gonna see that they're the selected ones. Click update. From there, go to class home, 
and now you see that these are the tabs here.